So did you know you can run apps like TikTok, Instagram for a Mac for absolutely free? For the uh, best part about this, not, uh, not only you can actually use the app, there's a uh, tons of other app you can download it as well. For, and for this app, it's called Mini Borax. In this video, I'll share 15 of my favorite apps into download for your Mac right now. For the best part about this, all apps are absolutely free. For app number, it's called Aldante, and this app is actually recommended by One Week guys. So this app is actually pretty useful. So anytime if you're charging a device, it doesn't matter if it's like an iPhone, Mac, or any device, it, it, you guys shouldn't charge your device like from like 85% or up. If you do it, if you just charge it, it device 100 percent actually gonna decrease your battery life so this app is actually pretty useful for that so th this app gonna give you warning so for me i set it to like 85 percent so i set it to 80 percent but if you need to do more you're just gonna type in like 85 and it's gonna change to 85 so after it, it's gonna go to 85 it actually gonna stop charging but thanks for the best part about this if you get the pro version of this app if, even if your mac is on the sleep mode after it, it's gonna go to the after it's gonna hit 85 percent it's gonna stop charging automatically before I continue the video, some of you guys ask me about this wallpaper. To get this, you can open up your Safari. That after that, you're gonna come to this website link. It's gonna be in the pinned comment, and after that, you can find it here. So for this website, there's other cool wallpaper as well. So if you get get on, the only thing you have to do is click on it, and after that, you can just click on download. That's it. For app number three, it's called Hidden Bar, and this is one of my favorite. For app number three is called hidden bar so with this you can actually hide all your apps from the menu right here so look at how simple and clean this looks so with this arrow if you just tap on arrow all the apps gonna be right here if you just tap on the arrow again it's gonna be all gone so other than having a, a messy menu bar right here this it, it make your life so much easier and also so with this it actually make your a menu bar so simple and clean so this is how it work so the only thing you have to do so if for example if you want to uh, put this if you want to so if you know, just put the spotlight right here to hold the command after to hold the command and after that you have to just drag it right here and then put it in the uh, line between and if you just do that it's gonna be gone it's just like that if you just tap on the arrow it's gonna be all there for app number four is called upskill so it's gonna improve any of the bad pictures so if the picture is even good it's gonna improve it even better and if the picture is bad it's gonna improve it a lot so that's how it works so if you just say select a photo so i'll just select this one right here and it does not this is actually a good photo but things with this it actually gonna improve me more and then if you check right here double scroll so it's gonna do it twice and it's gonna improve it a two time so this is how it looks so i actually I did this before so if we just open up my download folder so if you just go to my download folder so this is the thing i did it before so look at this it, it actually looked pretty good but things if i go to the improvement you're gonna see if I now if you just open this, it actually looks similar. But things there's actually a pretty good improvement if you actually look right here. So this actually a quite bit improvement. So it's not like in a like in a, a, a night and day, even if the picture is good. But things it actually is a bit better quality now. For app number five, it's called Tembox. I actually showed this in my last video, but things I'm to show you guys again because this is the one of my favorite app. So anytime if you're signing up for like a new newsletter or any you know, like if you're signing for like a morning brew or like a for or like a, a random website like this one, the like Ali Abdul. So it's not random, but anytime if you're signing for like a newsletter or anytime they're asking for your email and password, uh, so sometimes you don't want your inbox to fill up with uh, this kind of email. The first thing you have to do, you have to open up the temp box. After that, you're gonna click on new address. After that, you're gonna after that you're gonna click on random, and it's gonna give a random username. And also, if you check this, it's gonna give you a password as well. After that, you're gonna click on create. So this is the new email address over here. Make sure you check this active. So now we're just gonna click on copy the email address. Now we're gonna go to over here and over here it's asking for email address. So we're just gonna type in the email address, and click on subscribe. And like that. Over here, I'll show you guys here as well. Just type in the email and click on a subscribe and maybe later. And now if you just open up the temp box and after that, boom, just like that, the email is showing up right here. For app now, it's called my wallpaper. So just not for Mac wallpaper, for the basic one is good. But things if you get cool live with wallpaper, so there's a two way you can do it. You can get the wallpaper engine from Steam. And that's gonna cost you about five bucks. But things for this is actually free. So, and just not all these that you can actually use. So if you just tap on this, just not this is live as well. So just tap on it and click on a set as live wallpaper. After that, it's gonna take a few seconds to download. And after that, it's gonna change your wallpaper. Just click on set. Boom, just like that look how dope that look only problem is if you're actually using the free one you're gonna see there's a watermark right there so the only way you can get rid of it by paying a one-time fee but this other than that look how dope that look
Number seven is called Nimue, and if you're using the default calculator app, you need to change and you need to use this one right here. So not only it's gonna give you all your basic calculator, so let's do that times that. It's gonna give you the answer right here, but I think there's more to this app. Because if we just type in today, uh, plus uh, 78 days, look at this. It's gonna give me the, it's gonna give me the date, the month, the year, and also it's gonna give me the time as well. But I think there's more to this app. If you need to convert into like a different uh, a currency, I can do that as well. So the N, let's do fifty dollar in euro. Look at the, it's gonna convert to euro currency. Look at this. If you want to do like a different one, so the fifty dollar uh, in Taka. Look at this. It's gonna convert it to that as well. But app number eight, I'm actually gonna show you guys two app. So one is paste, and for the next one, it's called copy click, and both are copy a board. So anytime if you're copying something, this is gonna be really useful. So look at this. If we go open up copy clip right here, and if we just tap on it, anything anything I copied is gonna show up right here. So all the history is gonna show up right here. But the paste is gonna do the same thing, but things for a paste, uh, you can actually see it like a bit better. So it's gonna be something like this. So these are actually pretty good, but things with paste for most of the for the most of the feature you have to pay but things with the copy clip it, it is absolutely free so if you just open up safari right here and then if I, I just copy this right here i just go right here and click on command c so i copied it so now if you just go to my copy clip it's gonna show up right there but things now if you just open up paste in uh, but things if i open up paste uh now that it's gonna show me the link it's actually gonna give me the uh, image of the, uh, the website as well so if you just copy it it's gonna show uh, like that with the uh, thumbnail as well for app number nine is called xsnip so it's a screenshot taking app so in my last video i'll show you guys uh, uh, a shutter that's not that's actually good but things this app actually provide more so if we just click on option command and x i can just take a screenshot i'm just gonna select this and after that i can just take a screenshot of this part only but things in the bottom you're gonna get a couple of options compared to a shutter so you can add text you can add colors you can add, you can highlight things you can draw things over here, but things if you want to save it, you're gonna click on download. After that, you can choose the location, you can do your documents, your file, you can do a specific folder. After that, you have to just click on save. That's it. For app number 10, there's a two app as well. So one called Raycast and one called Alfred. So in my last video, I'll show you guys Raycast. So in this video, I'll show you guys Alfred. It's so now both are actually replaced of Spotlight. But things with the Spotlight, it cannot do much with the basic one. But things with the Alfred and also Raycast, there's a tons of things you can do. For example, if I just show you guys, so over here, if you want to switch command spacebar, you can, but I did option and spacebar. Just tap on that. I can actually open up a specific file. So not only I can just open up the file a folder, but if you're looking for a specific file, you can open up that. I can open up any images. There's files. And over here with alpha, it actually going to connect to many other apps. So for to use like a normal calculator, I can actually use that from here as well without even opening the app. So with this, it actually have like a lot of feature you can actually use. And then, and then for the, for Raycast as well, there's a something called extension. So you can actually download extension, you can use that as well. Over here for Raycast, if you just tap on my schedule, it's gonna go to my calculator and then it's gonna get the schedule and it's gonna tell me what is like any upcoming events. It's gonna show it right here. For app number 11, it's called Cheat Sheet and this app is actually so underrated and this app is actually so useful. So if you're using like many other app and if you don't know what is the shortcut to this, only thing you have to do is just download the app, it's called Cheat Sheet. After that, you have to just hold the command. Just hold it. If you just click on it, it's not going to work. If you hold it down, it's going to give all the keyboard to all the apps that you are actually using. So it's going to give you all the shortcut that you need to know before that app as well. So look at how many you're going to get. But things, if you actually lay, let go of the command, it's not going to It's going to be gone. So you have to hold that down. And then after that, you can actually see it. It's not this, that's not this app is actually pretty useful. App number 12 is called Alt Tab. And this app is actually from a Windows feature. It's called Windows Tab. So if you hold the Windows Tab, you can actually see not only which app is open, you can see the uh, tab that you are actually in and uh, what you are doing on the app. So this is the same feature. If you just hold the uh, command and tab, the only thing you can see on Mac is uh, which app is open and that's it. I think if you hold option and tab, not only you can see which app is open, you can see the exact thing you are doing on that app. So that is actually pretty cool. App number 10 is called Omnivore. So anytime if you find there like interesting article and, and to read about things you don't have the time right now so the only thing you have to do after you didn't download this app from app store if you just say select on this it's gonna go through the it's gonna go to all the tabs after that it's gonna be saved that's it after that if you just open up the app but then if you just open up the app omnivore it's gonna be saved right, right here so the only thing you have to do if you have to actually log into your account so you have to just log in once and after that it's gonna be saved right here so after that give it a few seconds then after that it's gonna be all saved 
dub right here so that's the article right here and for the best part about this all the ads from the article is going to be gone uh, over here but app number 14 is the apple shortcut this is the most underrated app on your mac right now because there's a lot of people don't use this app but this, this app has lots of feature so if you just open up the app to show you guys and after that if you just tap on the gallery there's a tons of things you can do so all these are for uh, mac but things you can if it's the same apple id is going to be linked to your iphone as well so this is this is my one that i actually use uh if i just go right here just click on quit all app it's gonna quit my most of the app that i'm actually using so it's not gonna cook any like a third body app that's a bad thing but things if you actually open up the shortcut you can actually edit it to like a a, a quit the uh, third body app and it's gonna quit the uh, third body app as well so not only that is that there's a, a lot of other uh, shortcut you can actually get for a mac as well app number 15 is would see and see one of my favorite app actually from iphone because this app cool which you can get so if you just open up the app um just uh it is just say say for the first time after that you just click on continue and not, not only this app like a so if you just after that if you just tap explore right here you can get a bunch of cool which you can actually get for for your for your mac and also for your iphone as well so look at this there's a different sizes so these are small these are medium uh these are big and also there's a extra large as well so look at this this actually look pretty dope and if you download one you're just gonna tap on it so sometimes it's going to ask for your thing, like your, your location, your service. If you want, you can allow it. If you don't want it, you, can, you don't need to. After that, you're going to click on import. And click on OK. After that, you're going to go back. And after that, you're going to go to manage. And then over here, you're going to select the large one. And after that, you're going you're to select that and click on yes. And then over here, if you can edit it, you can. But things you, if you don't want to, you don't need to. After that, if you just right click on it and click on edit widget. Then over here, you just gonna type in Woody and it's gonna show up right here. So if you just type in Woody it's gonna show up right here. So now you're gonna go and find the large. Now up to that, you can just drag this to your home screen right now, like that. And after that, just give it a few seconds to load, and it, look how dope that look. So that is it for this video. And if you want to see another video that shows ten more app for a Mac for absolutely free, make sure you click on this video right here and peace out.